Well, hey guys, good morning. Jeff here, Project Next. Thanks so much for stopping by and tuning into the channel. Uh, today, I've got another project to work on, and I'm just now grabbing my stuff and getting everything loaded up to head out toward my bridge. Uh, on my driveway, uh, we have a creek that we go across, and I guess a year or so ago, I installed uh, landscaping and rails. And anyway, uh, one of the rails, as it has dried out and cured, it's actually just sheared the bolts off and trying to, it's trying, I can't even talk today, trying to warp on me. So anyway, I need to uh, pull it back into place. Uh, I've actually went and got some carriage bolts, uh, something a little bit more heavy duty, and I've got a way I'm going to lock it down tighter. After that, uh, I'm going to, I don't want to add any more stain to it, but I do want to put some more protective on it, and I've got that as well to do today. And then after that, I want to clean up all the landscaping around the bridge and just rake, make it back real pretty again. It uh, just, I've been so busy working and been having all these other projects going on, I've kind of neglected it a little bit. So today's the day. Let's go get busy. Well, all right, let me show you what I've got going on here. Pictures are worth a thousand words, right? So when I installed the rail system, I uh, used these 2 by 12s as fascia boards uh, just to kind of dress it up. And anyway, if you can look down in there, obviously you can see this one is pulled away and it has actually broken the screws off. So what I've got to do is winch it back in place and it's actually settled some. So my plan is, <clears throat> and anybody's got a tractor with a bucket, it's amazing how you wonder how you got along without this because it's like having an extra set of hands. Anyway, I'm gonna use the bucket and I'm gonna to try to align this and raise it back up and then I'm gonna winch it back in place. And then, um, then after I get everything in place, I'm gonna add these carriage bolts and this should lock it and hold it in good. I probably should have done this to start with, but you know, hindsight's 2020, right? So anyway, let me uh, work on getting the tractor lined up, see if I can get this pulled back into place, and then we'll drill some holes and lock it all down nice and tight. All right, guys, you know me, let's get busy. Right. that's all pulled up nice and tight now and that ain't gonna come loose no more so what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and got six carriage bolts and I thought to strengthen this up everywhere I've got a vertical post I'm gonna run measure get right in the middle of the this is actually I said a 2 by 12 it's a 2 by 10 I'm gonna get right in the middle here I'm gonna drill through and I'm gonna do um, six carriage bolts total and that should lock all this in. So that's project one. Let me get that done. And then I've got two other things I've got to do.
Right, I'll show you one of the things I'm having to do. You know, it's not really a big deal and nobody will ever notice it. Uh, I would love to have these exactly center to the posts, but I'm having to move them over a little bit. The reason being is I have these long, these were 10 inch long ledger locks that run through this beam down and lock this beam into place. And obviously I don't want to hit these when I'm drilling. Um, they would obviously ruin that bit. And as you can see, that is a pretty awesome bit to cut through this wood like it does. So anyway, um, what I did is I just measured and moved over just a little bit, uh, just so I would not hit those. Anyway, one more to go. Well, man, I like that way much better. So I'll show you guys real quick. It really looks nice with the head. This side you're really not gonna see. Uh, wish I could have got these a little bit longer, but the next size down in length, they wouldn't have been long enough to come through. So anyway, all right, let me show you now the next challenge that I've got to deal with. And this is gonna require this. So, um, I'll try, oh I will, I will put in some video and I will show you guys when Hurricane Michael came through here. You see this uh, little shallow creek. It got, we had seven and a half inches of rain in an hour and a half. Uh, Hurricane Michael just came, it came right over top of here. So uh, the bridge went underwater and I will dub in some video here so you can see what that looked like. Um, anyway because of everything that happened it compromised the bridge that was here and we had to come in and lay out a new bridge and when we did i wanted to do a bridge with bigger wing walls taller wing walls and wing walls that went farther up into the bank and so when we did all that obviously we had a bunch of backfilling to do and what i did is i waited for a long time uh, to let this, I would come over and drive on it with my tractor and compact it. I would bring in more dirt and I just let this settle and settle for, I mean, it was way over six months. So anyway, I thought everything had settled fairly well and I went ahead and come in and set my post. And so what we've had happen is we've had more settling. And for some reason, I don't know why, but anyway, if you look, uh, I think you can see, I am about that far out of it being straight up now. Now what's so weird is the ones both on the other side, they're still perfectly straight up and down. They're doing great. This is the worst one. And then this one over here is leaning as well. And then on top of that, I've had a little visitor come and decided he wanted to make a home underneath my bridge. And let me show you, do you see this? This is not a water hole, that's a gopher hole. I'm sorry, not a gopher hole, a ground hole. And he has dug and made a burrow underneath there. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to work to straighten these posts up and then I'm gonna backfill this with concrete and I'm gonna fix it to where he can't get back in there anymore. So anyway, that's the next project that I've got to do on my bridge. So guys, once again, let's get back busy. Alright, so the one thing I love about this fast setting up concrete is it's only like 30 minutes and you can see it's already soaked all the water up and it is already starting to cure out and I'm just leaving this alone and letting it firm back up. Well, okay guys, I didn't think that the right hand side was going to get as involved as it did or take as much concrete, but I've got all of these set. These are back in place. This is all in good shape and now the part that I really had planned on getting involved in today was leveling you know getting this post back vertical 
but the main thing is as you can see is down in there where that groundhog has done made him a little den so we're going to fix that up right now here very shortly all right what i do when i'm trying to straighten this and get it to level is i actually pull it past vertical come more and then when i let off of it it kind of settles back to where it needs to be uh, and i see keep, keep saying level i mean vertical want to get the post back vertical so now uh, I'm going to do a little bit more digging on the back side and do a little bit of cleanup back there and get ready and then we're just going to fill this thing in with concrete. So guys, I waited 30 minutes and let the concrete set up and get all nice and firm. And then I came back up here and worked it down. So as you remember, there was a great old big deep hole right here that is now full of over 300 pounds of concrete. I wedged it all back underneath the platform uh, and filled it in. And so Mr. Groundhog, he will not be digging through that, I don't think. Then I came back up through and I worked this down. I'm still going to come back and work my plants and remulch this whole area and clean it up. I'm going to do all, all the corners. Uh, but before I do that, and I won't get to it today, I had hoped I would, but I won't get to it today. I want to come up and I want to refinish. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to add any stain. This is done with a, a semi-transparent. And at first I thought I didn't want to add any color, but I might, I might put just a little bit more color on this. And then I've got a clear uh, protectant to go on top. That'll be another day and another video uh, coming. So anyway, guys, just wanted to show you the, the finish up here. So these are all locked in now the repairs to the rails are all done and this is all locked, uh, scotched back down nice and tight and now the posts are back nice and vertical and uh, I've got all of this cleaned up and all put back in place and so again the next time I get a chance it'll be working on restaining and working my rails and then coming back and just freshening up all of the landscaping around so anyway guys hope you enjoyed that uh, and find that informative um, uh, I'm really glad uh, another productive day here at the homestead and so uh, appreciate you guys following along and checking out the channel uh, with the work we got done today. So anyway guys, you guys have a great week upcoming. Uh, I'm going to finish up now and head on in and kick back the rest of the afternoon. It's been a long day, busy and hot in this hot sun. It's about 92 here today, so it's been a hot one. So anyway, take care. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.